Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Stormblood. We have just arrived in the port city of Kugane. So, short man, what are we gonna do now? Everyone all rested and recovered and gotten our land legs back. Yeah, um, Durr? Oh, that's a good point. Maybe our friends are here. I mean, it's possible they're long gone, but it doesn't help to actually go look. Are we gonna not mention the part where we did we did that and we got arrested for it? Well, no, we were blackmailing you too, remember? I mean, I can't blame you for wanting to conduct business while you're already out to begin with, so... I will entirely give you that, but they never elaborate what the spice trade actually is. Like, you, you know it ain't good, but... Like, is it just black market goods? Is it drugs? Like... Hopefully not human trafficking, that will be really terrible. By the Twelve? I thought Ishgard remarkable, but this... We are certainly not in Eorzea anymore. Funny. <laughs> a tavern is a tavern, Alphano, here or anywhere else. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to do what I do best. Oh! <laughs> a thousand pardons, my lady. The signs of the Seventh Dawn, I presume. I hope your voyage was not too trying. Uh, who are you? How do you know who we are? And why are you expecting the signs of the Seventh Dawn halfway across the world? And you are? Ah, yes, of course. Forgive me. <laughs> Hancock of the East Aldenard Trading Company, at your service. On behalf of Chairman Lollorito, I bid you welcome to Kugani, and invite you to take refreshments at our local offices. Okay, how did Lollorito know we were coming over here? Like, I'm sure he has his ways, but, but, but how did this information- like, what? Lollorito? I was aware his interests extended beyond the borders of Eorzea, but not so far as Kagane. How did the message get across that we were coming over here before we even got here? I mean, I suppose we got way late along the way, but... Regardless, I am disinclined to accept the hospitality of grinning merchants. Especially those who serve a master with whom we have such a difficult relationship. Oh, he's still mad. My, such <laughs> naked suspicion. I do hope that business with the Crystal Braves did not rob you of all faith in your fellow man. Or do you really think the Chairman is plotting to drag you into another one of his grand schemes? Well... It wouldn't be, you know... 
too wrong of him to assume that, but what is often forgotten is most of that scheme wasn't Lollarito, that was him piggybacking off what Teleji had already planned to begin with. Lollarito wasn't quite the mastermind in that situation, he was just the mastermind at, at using the pieces that were already put there to his advantage. I beg your pardon? If you are trying to win my trust, you are failing quite spectacularly. Oh dear, have I offended you? Once again, I must apologize. Too much time in the Far East, you see. One is compelled to talk in circles round everything here, and one finds oneself longing for the invigoratingly candid speech of the Uldan markets. Though I see now that this was neither the time nor the place to indulge said longing. <sighs> Might I suggest that we continue this conversation at the company offices? Too many eyes and ears here, you understand. Twould be decidedly reckless to say any more. I thought the tower is like sitting back there like she is so mad. If I may favor you with the invigorating candy you apparently crave, it would be decidedly reckless to follow a man I neither know nor trust. Give me one good reason why we should accept Lord Lollarito's invitation. Well, we can make a mutually beneficial agreement out of this. Now there's the young diplomat I was told to expect. Very well then, I shall explain. You understand that you are come to a most reclusive and secretive nation, yes? One whose borders are close to foreign trade, save at this single port. Then it should come as no surprise that a great many parties have vested interests here. Merchants like myself are a given, of course, but for every one of us, you may be certain there is also an agent of a foreign government. Many notable nations and empires have embassies here, you know, including, of course, the Garlean Empire, with whom you have such a difficult relationship. To paraphrase, Kagani is teeming with Imperial spies, one or several of whom could now be listening to our every word. Something to that effect, yes. Beneath this veneer of bustling trade, a war for supremacy is being waged between world powers. One might say we were standing on the front lines, just not in public. I still have my doubts, but he may have a point. I say we accept his invitation for now. Well, we ain't got nothing better to do. I mean, we have a friend of sorts here. In a place very far from our home, so it's a good idea to at least hear him out, you know? We'll be fine, we'll be fine. I mean, he, he's, he's by himself for the moment. You know, we can take him. It's okay, it's okay. If you want to drop some profanity, it's fine. I'm, I'm not going to tell on you. It's totally fine. I get it. You're angry. We do not talk about the pants stealing, okay? Alright. Hey, 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 you, you said you had refreshments. What if I need to pee? Alright, we'll talk to everyone real quick and then we'll attune ourselves to the main aether right here. Yes, we know, we know. You do not like him, he smells. Well, duh. You know, when in Rome kind of thing, he, he is a merchant for the area.
Will do. See, so yeah, I kind of find it weird that, that now they make a point of, hey, these look different than the Charlayan ones, even though we, we, we ran into some of those in Heaven's Ward already, so... Kind of weird, but okay. I, I guess, you know, better mention it at some point than not at all. All right. I will have to like skateboard on this bridge. It'll just be wee. Oh, Tataru is in heaven over here. Point, but I'm, I'm glad you're still looking nonetheless anyway. You know, you never know who, you know, what kind of people you might find in the crowd by coincidence. It does happen in real life. You know, I can't count how many cons I've, I've gone to where, you know, you're just walking around and there's 10,000 people around and suddenly you run into your friend and then the same thing happens three days later. You, you, you can't find the one person you're looking for, but you'll run into the same person six times over the weekend, you know? Just by sheer happenstance. God, he is just so happy. Hi. So you're the boss around here, huh? Good to meet you. Well, it's nice to know we won't have to convert our currency in any way, shape, or form, so that's kind of nice. Can't forget about the rest of the Aetherites, though. I'm probably going to miss one somewhere. It's going to happen. It always does. I'm, I'm, even though this is our port city for the expansion, there's only like two places I ever go in here. And if I accidentally go to the wrong one, I'm like, okay, where in the world am I? <laughs> Tataru, we're the ones who, you're the ones who's always complaining we're always broke. Okay, don't spend what we have left for our money. I yeah, wonder if this fellow was going to tell us. What have you got for us now? Aw, so I can't even punch somebody who's being a butthead? Well, that's gotta stink. Wow, you can't even punch somebody or they're gonna kill you. Wow. Seems kind of counterproductive. Keep the peace or we're gonna murder you! Okay, I'm like...
Let's not talk about that, okay? Like... I, I was there, that was- that was kind of a bit gruesome. Well, I could say you're gonna be a lot of fun to keep around. I would totally bitch slap him for that if it weren't, you know, punishable by execution in the city. Sorry guys, had to take the long way. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, I recognize that symbol. No, I don't think this is a good idea. This is this is not a good idea. Yeah, I'm with you. N not a good idea. It's interesting to know that they don't all dress the same. Hi. Excuse me. That is giraffe. Thank you. Okay, so no one says anything different. Alright, can we get the heck out of here? Yeah, I for one could do with a nice lumpy couch to sleep on. But at sea for goodness knows how long. Hi. Oh, so you're in your zone too. Nice. Nice to meet you. Oh, but of course. Well, it would be utterly convenient, wouldn't it? That we would technically have some kind of mutual ally, no matter where we go. Because they don't like the Empire really either, so... Oh, couches! Oh, I could use one of those right about now. How about I just sit there and just flop my ass right onto it? Our thaumaturgists took great pains to ward these walls against all manner of surveillance. Where business dealings are concerned, we do not compromise on confidentiality. You may avail yourselves of these offices for the duration of your visit. Come and go as you like, and know that you may speak freely here. Okay, what's the catch, though? Your offer is most generous, but I will not enter into any agreement which would leave us beholden to you or your master. A legitimate concern? Allow me to clarify, then. The chairman bids you consider this as an expression of his heartfelt contrition for the bloody banquet and the unpleasantness which followed. Never having been one to put stock in words alone, the chairman deems the provision of material aid to be a more appropriate demonstration of his sincerity. By sheer coincidence, your purpose here also happens to coincide with our own interests. That is, assuming you are come to aid the Doman Liberation Front. How could... <laughs> I will not bother to offer a denial. I, you have the right of it. To be specific, we are come in search of our Far Eastern allies, Yugiri and Gosetsu, whom we hope to assist in their fight. So it's funny that now he... It's thought to question how he knows why 
and how we're here. Like, obviously, if he knew we were coming and is like, oh, hey guys, like, would you like to come to our offices? Like, nobody questions how he's not surprised by our presence at all, but as, but as soon as the reason we're here crops up now, all of a sudden it's like, what the heck? Well, if they found out we were coming, they would have to, they would already have to know the reason why we were coming in the first place. So it just, it just seems kind of odd that now this is being questioned, but was not on upon our first meeting. The Aori Shinobi and the Rugadin Samurai? Then you will be pleased to know that they have both come to Kugani. Oh? Are you sure? Quite. They came here aboard a company vessel, you see. However, they encountered difficulties securing passage across the Ruby Sea. The Ruby Sea? Sorry, I've never been any good at geography. Forgive me. This calls for a map. Well, to be fair, at least, this is on the other side of the world, so... You, usually when you learn about geography, you, you tend to have more focus on the areas nearby you that are uh, geographically or, or, or culturally aligned with wherever you're being educated. Like, take for example, like, how, how many people on the other side of the world can name all 50 U.S. states? Not a lot of people. Just like I couldn't name every country in Europe, you know? We are here in Kugani, the sole open port of Hingashi, situated on her western coast. Doma, meanwhile, is here on the eastern coast of Othard in Yansha. Therefore, if your friends are to reach Doma, they must first cross the Ruby Sea. Alas, this is easier said than done, as the Ruby Sea does not fall within the dominion of either Hingashi or Doma, being controlled since antiquity by a third party, namely the Confederacy. Said maritime collective is known for the consummate skill of its sailors, and for demanding that any vessel entering its waters pay a toll referred to as the Ruby Tithe. In exchange, the Confederacy's vast fleet guarantees the safety of those who travel within its territory. Oh, I see their game. Now, as I'm sure you are aware, Garlemald conquered Doma some 25 years past, at which time the Empire saw no value in controlling the Ruby Sea. And thus did they turn a blind eye to the activities of the Confederacy. The recently appointed acting Imperial Viceroy of Doma had other ideas, however. She has formally condemned the Confederacy and declared that any who recognize their authority shall be branded enemies of the Empire. Bowing to this pressure, Hingashi severed ties with these toll-takers and forbade the payment of the Ruby Tithe, prompting the Confederacy to make it known that any merchants choosing to sail the Ruby Sea would do so at their peril. So basically, they've now turned to complete piracy. Cool. No wonder they struggled to secure passage to Doma. What captain would risk such a journey given the circumstances? I am told your friends were not so easily deterred from their course, but I know not whether their persistence bore fruit. I say we follow in Yugiri and Gosetsu's footsteps and attempt to secure passage to Doma for ourselves. We will need to cross the sea in any case, and we may learn something of their whereabouts in the process. And should we find that they are still in Kugane, we can make the journey together. Sounds like a plan. In that case, I have some information which may be of use to you. No quid pro quo, I assure you. The chairman was most insistent that I aid you to the best of my ability.
So yeah, surprisingly, there are no conditions to our stay here. It's... Granted, I'm sure Lollarito has our, uh, some ulterior motives and some point down the line he may be like, Hey, hey, I helped you guys out before, hint, hint. Uh, none of that is ever to be seen yet at, the, at this point, but it is kind of good to know. And again, it has been made a point of in, in the past that Lollarito didn't, did not expect the fallout of the whole bloody banquet to go the way it did. And, and he knows he's a, in a bit of a, you know, deep doo-doo as, as a result of it. And he is not on the Scion's good side right now. And as much power and influence as he has, he, he's not an idiot. He doesn't want to make enemies out of us. So at the very least, he's being like, all right, dudes, I'm really sorry for what happened. Like, I know you don't trust me at all, but but here, like like take 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 my offices. Like I'll help you in any way we can. I don't like the Empire either. You know I know you want to liberate Dota Doma. I have interest in wanting to liberate Doma too. Let's work together. All right, all right. All things good. All things good. And that's that's pretty much how it's gonna be. Which which I can kind of kind of appreciate here. Like it, like like I said, it does seem I can't blame people for thinking this is kind of fishy and this may come back to bite us. You know, in in later expansions, that that this may come, you know, his generosity here may become a factor here. But for the time being, we have nothing to fear from him, which I think is pretty great. Yeah, I'm with you, Elise. Whatever works. Well, I'm not going to recognize most of the stuff because I haven't been here f so far, but I see you got some some trophies and things along the walls here. So what do you got for me, short man? I am ready to pass out onto this couch. Alright, so while my character comes over here and takes a nap on this lovely couch, first, first I gotta stand on the first, marking my territory over here. We're gonna have to take a break for now. I'm sure everyone over here has discerned a nice rest. You probably could, you know, maybe do with a nice hot meal. You've probably been eating garbage this entire time at the sea. And, and hey, at least, at least may, may, maybe we can make use of those, uh... Little lessons for how to eat with chopsticks that you learned back in Mordana, huh? Maybe you can teach the rest of us a little bit. Let's help each other out and stuff. Maybe maybe, maybe Hancock over here has his has got some 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 tips all that, and we can all have a laugh and make a mess of ourselves as we assimilate ourselves into this culture. So thank you very much for watching, friends, and I shall see you next time.